Hi, welcome to Metro TV. I'm Caitlin, this is Teresa. Today we're going to be doing a bronzy eye. So we're gonna first start with a gold base color right here. It's very light. You always wanna start with a lighter color. That way if there's any oil in the eyelid, it will absorb that. Instead of putting a really dark color on and absorbing that oil, then you have a weird patch. So we're just applying this all over her eyelid from her lashes up to her brow bone because again, it is our base color. And just blend that in, make sure there's no creases or seams, especially right at the lash line here. Sometimes there's a little bit of skin that can get those little bumps. So you wanna buff those bumps out. Tap off your excess, you don't want all of that going all over your face. If you're messy, do your foundation last and your eye makeup first. And if you need to, you're just gonna lift at the lid so you do get into those creases. Whatever you need to do to make it easier on yourself. So we finished blending our lighter colors. And now we're gonna go into our darker color. So I'm going to switch brushes, we don't want muddy colors. And I'm gonna go into our Spanish gold here. And again, dipping in and tapping off your excess. See how dark that is and how much stuff would be all over your face if you didn't tap. Okay, close for me. Now I'm just gonna go onto her lid a little bit, make this nice and soft and diffused here. So we're just gonna continue blending our Spanish gold. And I'm just going from the lid up towards the brow bone. You don't wanna go all the way to the brow bone with this. If you go too high up, it's gonna start looking overly dramatic. And we just want a soft, nice bronzed look. I'm getting some more product on your brush and make sure you tap off that excess. You can't forget that. Starting at the lid and blending upward. Again, make sure that you don't go too high up all the way to the brow. If you go all the way to the brow, it does look a little bit too dramatic and we are just doing that natural, pretty beachy look. So now we've applied our second color. And if you notice, I am using this brush here. It's the Mud 800 brush. Um, the bristles are a little bit softer and further apart. When the bristles are like that, you get a softer wash of color versus using a denser brush where you get a more dramatic look. So if you want a softer look, you're going to use a softer brush. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our darkest color here. We're gonna use brownstone. So we're just gonna tap into here and I am using a denser brush this time. It's a very similar shape to the 800. Um, this is the 810, but it is a little denser. Now keep your eyes open for me. We're going to go into her crease to create a little bit more dimension and depth. So we are doing our darkest color and we are doing it in the crease and I'm having her keep her eye open. Sometimes when you close your eye, you're guessing where your crease is and it ends up being too high or too low and we don't want that. So we're just going back and forth in like a windshield wiper type of motion and just blending that out.